I have been wrung out and hung to dry on the emotional roller coaster known as the Essex Thales fandom. So I made art about it. Hey there, I'm Kamala. I am the Rainy Craze. I am an aspiring illustrator with the eventual goal of living a fantasy life in the mountains. And let me tell you, these last couple of months have been a doozy. Basically, since my last video. Well, that's foreboding. You suffer 4d10 emotional damage. Basically, what it comes down to is the market could not move fast enough to fulfill consumer demands. Specifically, in this case, a bunch of nerdy ass voice actors who sit around and play Dungeons and Dragons created an amazing world full of interesting characters. A bunch of us fans latched on really hard to one particular narrative Harry character, and for whatever reason they released merch for a patch of crabgrass instead. If you aren't familiar, I'm talking about Critical Role, and the character is Essek Thales. Essek Thales, whose actions sparked a major plot point for the campaign. Essek Thales, the narrative foil of the beloved player character, Sad Wizard. Caleb Widogast. Essek Thales, the hot floaty drow mage who exchanged state secrets because he liked Caleb Widogast's cat flavored homebrew spells. Essek Thales, who canonically became the ninth member of the Mighty Nine, ending a two year running joke of, but there aren't nine of you. Essek Thales, who has a dedicated fan server on Discord, which is by far the most active Discord server I've ever seen. Essek Thales, with multiple hours-long fan-made supercuts and a two-hour in-depth character analysis here on YouTube by my friend GalaxyBot. Hi, Jess. And the crabgrass with two minutes of screen time got a shirt first. Jester even made the connection to Essek when talking to the crabgrass. That's why he floats everywhere. He doesn't want to hurt the grass. What in the golly hay? But then... Critical Role announced that Sideshow, the super cool pop culture licensing studio, was releasing a complete set of nine character prints from this campaign by artist Sam Hogg. Amazing artist, by the way. Absolutely in love with these. So nine character portraits, nine members of the Mighty Nine. Essek gets official art, right? Well, not so fast there, buddy. The DM is another player, so you get a trite, shrouded figure instead. And these portraits were released in six sessions, right? So this last one was super hyped up, and then it just felt like a... Essek did get a tiny portrait in the corner of Caleb's feature print. Essex stands were vexed. Vexaliad, if you will. So a slew of Essex suddenly appeared in Imprint and Society 6 stores by fan artists. I actually even bought a few pins and prints from several of them. So what I'm doing here, as you've rightly surmised, is my own print-worthy attempt at Essex Bayless fan art in response to this particular gut punch. The difference between me and most other artists is that I have a whole screen printing setup in my house with metallic inks and everything. So I'm adopting the art for my setup, which is nothing if not homebrew. If I were doing digital prints like everybody else, I'd be doing something more like my old color portraits or even maybe something more traditional. Actually, I do have connections. I could probably just do those in stickers like everybody. But I want a screen print specifically. Drop a comment below if you'd like to see how I do my home screen printing. That might be interesting. Not too long after the sideshow prints all dropped, Critical Role announced a pre-order for a pack of WizKids miniatures, which happened to include Essex. A tiny consolation prize if you happen to be in the mini fig side of the TTRPG hobby and wanted a whole pack of minis. And then when the actual minis got released, the coloring was way off for Essex. He's lilac instead of drow colored. Then, soon, the first four real Essex single merch drop the totally cute chibi pin. The Essex Discord server went wild since the chibi pin series was independently popular collection items and we were ecstatic! Except I wasn't. For some reason, the art of that pin just didn't hit it for me. That art also became the keychain slash key cover, but I didn't love it enough the first time, so eh. Side rant. I don't just buy meh things anymore like I used to. I have to really be in love with something to buy it and place it in my life. I spend over $3,000 a year just in insurance policies for crying out loud. Physical things that take up space better be worth it. 
And I hold mediocre project managers and art directors accountable because I've worked in that industry. I know what it takes and I have very high standards now. I have been ruined by professionalism. <clears throat> I may just have very strong opinions on merch. Anyway, so during this time, I actually had my final assignment for Tourist Guide to Wild Mountain. And I had to pause the Essex screen print for a while to get that and a few other things out of the way. Here's how my daily life at the Vermis Outpost turned out. In that hiatus, the really big Essex announcement hit. Critical Role teamed up with Sideshow again, this time with artist Mintu Heinenen for the Essex exclusive large art print. Mintu is an artist I've admired for a while and I absolutely love how she incorporates textures into her compositions and how she uses color. Absolute pro and I'm a sin. So this wasn't a hard decision. I just bought her large print of Essex from her personal store that wasn't the Sideshow exclusive. Don't get me wrong, the Sideshow Essex is awesome. I just like this other Essex of hers better because of the story in that illustration. To make a callback, I really like the official Essex print but I absolutely love this artist's other Essex print. So that's what's getting framed and featured on my home office's new gallery wall covered by my property insurance. And now, the reveal. The Shadow Hand, Essex Phelous. A simple two color composition, especially for screen printing, featuring luxurious purple and real metallic silver finish, incorporating textures and halftones to get the effects just right, though perhaps difficult for production later. Designed with quality, copyright-free music playing at all times for tonal affectation and emotional cohesion throughout the process. So here's my question. Do you want to actually see me screen print this live and live in color with these inks? Or would you demand a different colorway? Perhaps a third color like this, maybe black paper. Would you want to own one if I did? Drop a comment, let me know. Thanks for sticking around. If you want to see me draw another Elf or Two on my brand new mobile art studio in the middle of a freak winter storm, check out this video. And have a super duper day.